That's a great start to a video. Just you all know. around. Yep. Another vulture is eating that guy even after he's been eaten once already. There's a lot of meat on a guy, you know. Yeah. There's enough to share. This is one of the areas where the original MGS3 camera can be helpful in a couple of spots because you can look up fairly easy to see the soldiers above you. It, it, it reminds me of Gerudo Fortress in Ocarina of Time, actually. Yeah, it kind of does. The, the outside sections. Yeah. Uh, let's just use a book. If only I would have put a book with a claymore right next to it. I wonder if he would have noticed the claymore. <laughs> well, now you know what you must do. Nice. Yes, yes I do. Stab him in the head. Nah. Well, He's gonna... He crows. <laughs> Go! I'll never understand that. Ne neither Somebody will I. Somebody please help me. <laughs> Tell me why they ruffle their feathers. Maybe he's getting a wiggle in his pants or something. I don't know. Then why is it coming out his elbows? It's got a wiggle. He's got to get the wiggle out of him. And it distributes out to the outside world through his extremities and elbows. <laughs> I, I don't know. Helicopters. The guys in the helicopters can spot you really easily. Well, they are trained for that. Yeah. Like, you can... Cr all the little tunnels and stuff here, you can crawl into one of those and only, like, a part of your face will still be visible, and they'll spot you. Oh, and, uh... just teleport? Yeah, I did teleport, because, uh, right there, I had to start a new recording, because the power went out. <laughs> I was right about to throw a scorpion right in that guy's face, and the power went out. It, was, it wasn't like the power went out completely, it was enough. It just like flickered for a second and it killed my PS2, but not my computer. What's wrong? What's this, wrong? What's wrong? This, pl this part right here is so irritating to sneak up because the guys are all up much higher than you and the only way to get up is through this ramp here where you're almost always going to get spotted. So it's just a lot easier just to shoot everybody. And there's an RPG. I gotta think. That, that these guys are really bored and they just play tricks on each other all the time. Because <laughs> it's the only way I can figure out for them to act so dumb. Like, yeah. oh no, my co-guard just collapsed. <laughs> Instead of radioing, I, 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 radioing in, I'm just going to tap him and check to see if he's faking it. Ah, yes. I see you've captured a white rumped vulture. The white rumped vulture is a type of vulture found in India. Its diet consists mostly of dead animal carcasses. I don't think it'll attack you, but it's a fairly large bird of prey, so you probably won't be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Got it. But there is something here that's bothering me. What is it? They say the white rumped vulture doesn't just eat animal carcasses. It eats human ones as well. Is that so? Yeah. So then if a person eats a white rumped vulture, does that mean he's eating human meat too? What do you think? Stop it already. You're gonna make me lose my appetite. Let's eat a vulture. <laughs> so, so like I was saying, these guys, just to pass the time, have gotta be just collapsing and laying their own, own porn sense. around all the time. <laughs> just to make life livable. It makes sense. Yeah, and that's like, how Snake can get through right, without suspicion. Yeah. That second piece of vulture I ate is the part where the human meat was also in it. If you eat a vulture that's eaten a human, it res completely restores all your stamina and it tastes very good, which means Snake's ca kind of a cannibal, I guess. He he's eaten a stomach that's got human stuff in it, so... Does he really eat the stomach, though? I just stick to... You know the bird meat, and not go inside its organs. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if snake eats the organs. God, but <laughs> how would you handle stomach acid? Like I bathe in it. Like I, I can understand people who eat like liver and kidney and stuff, but those aren't full of goo. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. There, there's a consequence for eating human meat that will be. You'll see it happen, or come about, 
like many videos from now, but there's there's a consequence for it. That guy's actually spotting you, and he's not doing a damn thing about it. Oh no, he's coming over here. But I'm, oh, you radio, radio. I'm gonna use a book. You moron. <laughs> What's that other person-shaped object that's not supposed to be there? Hmm. Hey, Steve, there's a guy behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh. Huh? A book. Oh, wait, no. Book. Oh, yeah, Never but mind. they... Uh, unconscious bodies take priority over books. Well, that's something to his credit, well, I guess. Yeah. Oh, snake. God, that tiny ledge. Are, are those big guns just for shooting down the uh, the helicopter? Or anything else that gets in your way, yeah. But it'll be oh, used. It's a frog! Yeah, there's a frog. There's a frog. Oh, and by the way, that guard went over there, kicked the other guy awake, and this instant the other guy woke up, he got caught by the book. <laughs> there he is. Oh, who got what? Oh, boobs. Never mind. Boobs. Boobs. It makes sense. The book fell down from the heavens and hit me on the head. <laughs> That's probably oh. going to go into his report to headquarters. <laughs> How did you let the operative get through? Well, you see, have you ever seen uh, The Gods Must Be Crazy? Now just imagine <laughs> it wasn't a Coke bottle. <laughs> but it was the gift of breasts. Well, that's a wonderful excuse. Uh, you get... A promotion and another book. Look at the that top down. That's the default view that you couldn't switch in the original game, and it's completely unhelpful. Bah. It's awful. Third person all the way, please. <laughs> uh, storehouse. Very gently open the door. Well, yeah, you don't want to give yourself away to the people who must know you're there. And put TNT there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Won't blow it up right now, because it'll cause a caution, but it'll it'll blow up at some point. What is the point of all these tunnels? Wait, why, why did um, they build them? They, they were naturally there. They just put the little bits of wood around them. Oh, it's sort of like a renovation project? <laughs> yeah. But all those perfectly rectangular tunnels uh, are natural. There, there's a special type. It's actually uh, they were dug by moles, but the moles are uh, rectangle they're square. shaped. They're, they're square. They're square moles. They're square moles. Yeah. Ugh, sleep. It's kind of funny. Like the the guys in the helicopters will spot you very quickly. Like if there's caution or something, and. You know, you're just out in plain sight, but if you're out in plain sight, just walking around, they can fly right over you and they won't do anything. I mean, I How guess it's for difficulty. How does Cold War last this long? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, and that guy on the left, it's the most irritating guy. I did like two other runs of this map before I actually recorded it. And that jerk right there. I forget he's there every time, and he always caught me. So I just shot him, because I'm getting sick of sneaking by him. What a jerk. <laughs> you almost missed that ledge. It's a good thing you caught it with your face. <laughs> he, could, he bit into the ledge and then pulled himself up with his teeth. Oh, uh, now that's a Twin Snakes move right there. Yep. Well, that was quick. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. He found out? If he knew, I'd be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. 
He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. <laughs> Does it look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. Hmm. A girl's gotta have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've gotta get going. The Phase 2 trial of the Shagohot is about to start, and it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The Colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. Better take these two. They should come in handy. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. I'll bet if I kissed you, you'd taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. That's where the Shagohot is. Finally, there's the west wing, which is connected via a passageway to the main building. That's where Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the east wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The west wing of the weapons lab. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. The west wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be colonel class to get in. Colonel class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Pretend you're him. How do I do that? Steal his clothes. You look similar from behind, they won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? <sighs> right. You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother, and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? Does it have to be one or the other? 
love or hate. Between a man and a woman? You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? Huh. That's your mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Snake? Is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. You were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. <sighs> Snake? See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid and they know there's a spy. There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. <laughs> Colonel, did he talk? No, he died before I could get it out of him. Wasn't the spy then? Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. <laughs> but does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? 
This is war, Major. A Cold War, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades... The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then... who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it! <laughs> CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagahod and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. Huh? Impossible. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. them up properly. No. So when you're up here, uh, you can they see didn't forever. use. They, you didn't. They didn't use like a m miniature version of the level that they loaded up that entire level there. Awesome. For the most part, and so all the guards that are normally there are still doing their old routine, and. Uh, if you start shooting at them, you can still kill them, you can still blow up barrels, and if you do it enough, uh, they'll spot you, and they'll start selling helicopters up there to the top of the mountain after you. That is cool. Yes, it but is. But that would be dangerous. Yeah, but I'll do that in, like, a blowing stuff up run, which will be coming up soon. It would be tempting fate. Uh, there's also a frog in one of the towers in that previous map. Oh, hmm. uh, spider. Uh, uh, yeah. There we go. Now it's half a spider. Good job. <laughs> I like how that animal, that spider just, ju it just goes poof. There's a big cloud of dust and it's just not there. Hmm. Bullets under beds. That's where I keep my bullets. Bed bullet.
Uh, gotta sneak through this place, but to a different door, because we got the key for a bullet save I instead. I knew it! Five codec calls. <laughs> There's two. Snake, have you ever seen the War of the Worlds? No. These flying saucers from Mars arrive on Earth disguised as meteorites. The saucers use their heat rays to attack the nearby towns. And then... Um... Something wrong. Uh, the thing is... I was too scared to watch. I had my eyes shut almost the whole time. Then you haven't seen it. No, it's not that. It's based on a novel by H.G. Wells. You haven't seen it, have you? That does remind me, though. When I was two years old, my father listened to the radio drama version of the story. It was right after dinner on Sunday, and we were relaxing in the living room. They said monsters had come out of a meteorite that landed in New Jersey. It sounded just like a real live news broadcast. My father said he and my older brother actually believed it and started yelling and panicking. My mother supposedly grabbed me from my crib and took me out to the car, still wrapped up in blankets. But then, just as my dad was about to start the car, he realized that it was all just a radio drama. Because on the car's radio, they were playing Bing Crosby tunes. No matter what station he turned to, no one else seemed to be reporting on this big history-making news story. Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. Nobody said a word. We all went back to our rooms. My father and brother got off with a scolding from my mother, but I was the one who really suffered. After that incident, every time I acted up, my father and brother would scare me by saying, The Martians are coming! That's terrible. Isn't it, though? So, you haven't seen the movie. I... I saw it. So... so even nuclear weapons wouldn't work against the Martian war machines. Uh-huh. Anyway, Snake, if you conceal yourself like the Martians did, the enemy won't know what hit them. Conceal myself? Maybe not in a meteorite, but if you can hide yourself inside something a little more close at hand... Mm -hmm. Close at hand? Something like... a box. Ah, uh, I get it. So, you never saw the movie. I saw it, it all right? It's funny when the dude's like freaking out and he has to find his girlfriend in a church. He goes through every church in Los Angeles. <laughs> he knows that's where she'll be. She'll be praying somewhere. Luckily, a box, it's, huh? he's like running away from Martian war machines. Let's talk to somebody about our box. Uh, Snake, what are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know, I was just looking at it, and suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah, and then when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel... safe. Like this is where I was meant to be. Like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh-huh. Does any of that make sense? Not even a little. You should come inside the box. Then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean. Between you and Paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with the Major Strange? Uh. Yeah, well, anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. 